Virtual Frank, I'm back. Today's topic, how to clone your hard drive. Now, while cloning a hard drive might not be high on the list of priorities for you, network administrators, it is. For you home users, think of it this way. You have your new computer and it works exactly the way you want it. How about we do the ultimate backup and clone the entire hard drive? Pete, your interest? I thought so. Prepare yourself, here we go. First, stop and get the program. I use Drive Image XML, which is free and wonderful. You can get it from them, download.com, or of course, my website. Get it and install it. Now, fire it up once you get it installed, and screen one looks like this. Simple enough. Click on Backup, and you get this screen, which allows you to choose which drive you want backed up. On this machine, there's only the C drive. You could have more. Hit Next, and you get a confirmation. Is this the one you want to back up screen? Hit Next. Now this screen is where it starts to get confusing, but don't worry, the default settings should be good enough. Hit next. Away we go as the program starts to carve up your drive into manageable chunks. Depending on the size of the drive, it could take a while, so be patient or go watch the family guy. The backup ends with a bonk, and now you click finish and your backup is done. Okay, you're asking, where did it go? Well, it went here where you keep my documents. Backup complete, part one is done. Let's go ahead and restore it. You'll have to hook your target drive to a backup drive. Now, how do you do that, you ask? At Tiger Direct, for 20 bucks, you can buy this handy little outfit that turns hard drives into USB drives. I own two and I love the Tiger Direct service. Slave the drive that you want to restore to and fire up Drive Image XML on your master machine. Choose Restore, and the program wants to know where your clone is. Remember, my documents although you could move it to a jump drive or a DVD or a different hard drive. Only the XML file is going to show up despite all those other files, so don't worry. Next is technical data. Just click Next. At this point, after you click on the target drive, this screen is what you are, are you sure stage. Just to be on the safe side, this is the last chance screen, which does a nice job because you don't want to screw this up. Type in the secret code listed and the restoration begins. Again, depending on the size, it could take 30 minutes to several hours to complete. Again, the benefit of this program mainly goes with the IT world, but can be used as a backup tool for the home user. Now, I'll get a video up showing how to do the USB hard drive adapter, just because I need the video hits, right? Seriously, it's easy. I'll show you how. If you have any questions, hit me up.